My name is Joan Whitson, and today's video touches on the importance of sensory play for young children. Children learn through their five senses, so it's important to make a point of letting them experience their environment with their senses every day. And one activity that emphasizes the sense of touch is to create sensory bags. Sensory bags can be used for toddlers all the way up to grade school. One idea for a sensory bag is to simply take a Ziploc bag and some clear hair gel. You squirt the hair gel into the Ziploc bag, then fill the Ziploc bag with items that the children can push around. For the toddler, I would recommend starting out with small items such as buttons or beads or plastic toys. Items that they can push around and have fun exploring with. You can ask them questions like, where's the blue button? Can you find the orange star? There's a lot of learning things you can do with sensory bags. As they get older, you could add color sorting like I did. I took a bag and I put colored items in it and then I drew circles of different colors. And then you simply have the kids match and push the colored items to the correct color. I even added the name of the color so to emphasize literacy. There's so many things you can do with sensory bags. You could teach anything. How about you want to talk about sea life? Well then fill up a bag with toys and shells and things maybe you found at the beach and let the kids explore that. Maybe you're doing dinosaurs, put plastic dinosaurs in there. I was recently at a kid's birthday party and it was a superhero theme. And so they let the kids make their own sensory bags and gave them toy figurines of superheroes and they put them in there and they all got to take one home as one of their party favorites. I thought that was a fantastic idea. But my favorite idea right now for sensory bags is this right here, the sensory bag window. You simply take a Ziploc bag and you fill it with water beads. You can get water beads at the dollar store. And then you seal it and then you tape it on to any glass surface. It could be a shower door, sliding glass door, a window, just like I did here on this piece of glass. And then you just frame it around with tape. I'm gonna show you an example of a, of a trick. It can be a little bit tricky sometimes putting the tape on without the water beads getting in the way. A tool that I found and I wanna show you that works just like a charm is then you take a squeegee and then use that to hold back your water beads and then take your tape and push it right down just like that. And that allows all the water beads to stay right in there. And then just watch as the kids just have fun feeling and touching and playing and exploring with all those textures. It's important to let children feel, touch, and explore with their hands. And the more that they do, the more that their little minds are gonna grow, grow, and grow. Have fun.